Hi, my name is Austin here with RGM Computers and today we are going to do a walkthrough of how to blow out a computer very efficiently. A few weeks ago we uh, did a video where we just did a generic uh, blowout of a computer to show what RGM does when your computer gets checked in with us and how we blow it out to ensure that when you get it back all the dust is removed. But again today we're going to do a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to properly blow out your case and to show you the reasons why keeping the dust at your computer is better for the long run and longevity of your system. So this is the inside of the computer we're going to be working with today. The biggest part of a computer in terms of blowing out the system is the processor right here. The processor is the hottest uh, computer component in a system and that is the reason why there is a heat sink and a fan over it. And as you can see there is a lot of dust uh, chunked up and caught up within the fan and also the heat sink underneath. And that is primarily the first thing you should always go and blow out with your either compressed air machine or compressed air. And so I'm going to go ahead and blow that out with our industrial air compressor. Now as you can see just by a little spurt of air there was a ton of dust that came out. And this was because this computer was not blown out for a long period of time. And that is why it is more uh, beneficial for you to con constantly keep that up. Next, what I'm going to do is go and blow out the power supply. The power supply also intakes air as well and can get dust caught up in it. And so the next thing I'm going to do is shoot a little bit of compressed air into the power supply right here. And as you can see, again, more dust was inside the power supply and always making sure you also hit the power supply with air is very efficient. As you can see, there is dust also kind of cocked up on top of the components that the hard drive and disk drives are on as well as in the uh, cooks and crannies of the computer case and that's where dust gets trapped the most. Back here by the uh, PCI cards is where a lot of dust loves to hang out so I'm going to blow some air there to get some of that out as well. Now as you can see more dust was still down there and one thing to ensure yourself with is when you use compressed air, light air or very concentrated air, it's not going to damage any computer components. It is okay to apply as much air as you can. Uh, even some of the light, very delicate components will still be very okay once you apply air to it. What I'm going to do now is do a full continuation of blowing air for the whole case so you can see the full thing and what it looks like in the very end. One thing too is a lot of older cases the front panel has a harder time being removed but a lot of dust likes to be caught in between the metal case and the plastic front panel and a lot of newer cases have made it easy for you to remove those. So when you're blowing air out make sure you can remove that front panel and get a lot of the dust that's caught up in these crooks and crannies in these holes that usually fans sit in. One thing you saw me do is kind of go back over areas I started off with because dust will kind of go through other components and you still want to make sure that dust actually leaves the case not just move to a new location. So it's very good and wise to make sure you can constantly blow air throughout the whole case until you start seeing the dust really not show up as much. So that about does it. That is the majority of the case and the dust has seemed to be efficiently removed. Uh, one thing we like to always recommend here is to always have a can of compressed air on hand and blow out your case every month or two just so it doesn't get this bad and it ensures that your case stays healthy and lasts longer. Uh, we sell compressed air here and you can always, always get it somewhere else. So again, thanks for watching. Again, this was a video on how to properly blow out your, your computer case from the, uh, the CPU to the power supply to all the crooks and crannies in the case. And again, my name is Austin here with RGM Computers. Thanks for watching.